Drone updates. Got several of them coming up next. Hi everyone, Bill from Build a Drone Reviewer, where I make drone and drone related videos. If you're new here, welcome and consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. With that, let's begin. Lately, I've been getting a number of emails regarding questions about drones that have not yet been released in 2020 and one that was released in late 2019. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Recently, Autel announced that there will be a delay regarding the Autel Evo 2 due to a software issue. I did a video regarding that, so I invite you to check that out to get further details regarding that. Now, with the coronavirus affecting manufacturing in China, that could possibly extend this delay, so stay tuned. Zero Zero Robotics issued this statement, and to those who have put a deposit on it, on February 5th, 2020, Quote, coronavirus-related work closures currently slated until February 9th or later. We are monitoring the situation and doing our utmost to continue work through the quarantine. We will update with more info on when manufacturing can resume and the impact on V-Copter Falcon ship shipment date, end quote. Well, I got some good news. Several of those of us who have ordered from GearBest received their Xeno 2s. Now, it's my understanding that they ordered theirs on or about December 13th or 14th. Well, I also know several who have ordered their Xeno 2s on the same day and have not received them yet. The New Year's holiday was extended by three days to February 10th, so we may see some updates next week. But bear in mind the coronavirus could be affecting this, so stay tuned. Now, the unthinkables happened to several drone reviewers that I know of, in particular Michael Barrington and Billy Kyle, with their Scotty O2s crashing. Now, Scotty O replaced Michael Barrington's Scotty O2 and is in the process of replacing Billy's. Now, I do know of at least two more that they replaced of as well. I'm um, really got to say the Scotty O customer service has really stepped up to the plate here in taking care of their customers. My hat is truly off to them. Now, they're still having growing pains associated with a backing with a backlog of orders and a controller that desperately needs updating. Now I'm looking forward to seeing how Scotio progresses here in 2020. Now I don't have any updates to report except that the coronavirus may possibly affect when the DJI Mavic 3 will be released, so stay tuned. Watch my video on the DJI Mavic 3 to learn more about the possibilities. DJI Mavic Air 2. Now the last I heard was a possible late spring release, but again with the coronavirus, they may see the release date pushed back a bit. Now to learn more about the possibilities of the DJI Mavic Air 2, watch my latest video on that. X Dynamics Evolve 2. They had a great response at CES 2020 and with good reason. This drone fills the gap between the Phantom 4 Pro and the Inspire 2 and comes with a ton of features. Latest I heard from my contact is that they are testing pre-production models and it's about two months out from shipping test units. As I get more information, I'll be sure to pass that along. Question of the day, which of these drones are you waiting for? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching and remember, it's a great day to fly. you close